What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. Today we're checking out the brand new Elite Tuners Mustang GT. We're going to do a stage 5 shift in tune, stage 6 shift in tune. We're going to try and find the live racing setup and do a review on the car. So, today we're on Actual Speed's account. Check him out on YouTube, link in the video description. Let's start off with stage 6. So when the car is 100% maxed out with all the purple stars, all the fusions, all the stage 6, nitrous all the way to the right, Final drive 2.0 and tire pressure on 27 PSI. We got a 56 and a 44 up there. To drive it when it's maxed out, we're going to let go of the gas just a little bit after number one, the launch. Second, third, nitrous. All the rest of the shifts. Try and get perfects, actually. All right, let's give this a go. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, nitrous fourth gear fifth gear and we're not going to shift into six just go ahead and let it run out in fifth and what do we get 7.046 if you get a perfect run it's going to run like 6.9s to 7.0s and the dyno time is a 7.025 now i'm going to go ahead and fit this back to stage five so we can see what she can do on stage five parts only Okay, so stage 5 parts with all purple stars and all the fusions. Nitrous goes to 188 and 3.8. 2.0 on the transmission. And tire pressure still on 27 PSI with a 56 and a 44 up top. That gives us a 9.140 on the dyno. Alright, here we go. 3, 2, 1, go. Second, third, nitrous. Fourth gear and that's it we don't have to do anything else so very easy to drive on stage five and there we ran a 9.113 i think my best run was like a 9.0 something but that gives you a good idea of what the car can run on stage five all right now i'm going to try to find a live racing setup for this guy now the normal type of tune i do isn't quite working but on stage four we fit all the parts to stage four we've got 675 on the performance points and 1416 on the evo which is actually pretty good but all the fit all the parts are fit to stage four if you want to try this out i can't guarantee this will be the world's best live racing setup but if you got the car upgraded you got it up to purple stars give this a try right nitrous all the way to the right Final drive, 2.35 and tire pressure on 27 PSI. And this is not my account, so I don't really take this into live racing to try it out. But normally this type of tune does pretty darn good on most cars, but not all cars in live racing. Now that gives us a dyno of a 10.800. So we want to run as close to 10.800 as possible. We don't want to beat the dyno on this type of tune. So if this works the way most cars work on this type of lower performance point, higher Evo setup, it should win the majority of live races without beating the dyno. And then your car stays in the same lobby. You don't got to worry about getting pushed into faster and faster lobbies, but let's go ahead and go ahead and run this thing and see what it does. So bottom line is we're going to try and get a good launch, second, third nitrous, and then, you know, that's it. Pretty easy, really. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, nitrous. Here we go with fourth. And do we need to shift into fifth? I think not. There we got a 10.7 something. So you're going to want to slow down a couple times before you cross the finish line. Because like I said, we're not trying to beat our dyno time. We got a 10.793. .793. So yeah, definitely slow down a little bit before you cross the finish line. And this might win a lot of live races. But do your best not to go faster than the dyno. All right, so it's time for a review. And overall, it seems like a very nice car. I'm not really sure about the live racing setup, but... It's fast. It is a 6.9 car. 0 to 60 in like 0 0.7 something. 0 to 100 in like 0 0.9 something. 350 miles per hour. That's really not too bad. Now, on stage 6 and stage 5, I don't think it really did much dyno beating. But you might be able to tune it to beat the dyno. On the live racing setup, it definitely beats the dyno by a bit. And will probably win a lot of live races. So overall... I think it's a pretty nice car when the event pops up for this you should be getting it for free from the elite tuners event which is really cool but 
bottom line it's a very cool car and i think i like it so hey if you got it upgrade it why not all right i hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you found it helpful i think that wraps this video up don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to help support the channel check out the join button or the thank you button or there's a link to the danny alert lightning merch store down there in the video's description and all kinds of other good stuff like my youtube channels and some links about the game you might find interesting so hey check out the description and we will catch you next time thanks for watching lightning out see ya